Hi, my name is Eugene Talley. I'm one of the professors here at SIU Automotive Technology. And today we're going to take you for a tour through our Transportation Education Center and show you where we get to work every day and where the students get to learn and become leaders in the automotive industry. Come over here, I'll show you a map to uh, kind of give you an idea of what we'll be walking through today. Here at the Transportation Education Center, we do share this space with aviation, uh, one of the top uh, aviation programs in the country. Um, but in this particular building, they really only have two dedicated spaces and some office space. The rest of this building, which is approximately 160, 165,000 square feet, is dedicated to automotive technology. So we will be walking through all three of these labs, showing you our dyno cell and also our computer lab and kind of getting an idea of where the students will come and learn and work on vehicles and, and the technology every day. Some of the things we're going to show you today are typically what we would walk through if you come down and do an in-person tour with us. So I'm going to try and hit some of those high points and some similar things that we talk about as you'd walk through. This is shop one. This is one of our three main shop areas. This is where we have um, our diesel courses, our advanced drivability and admissions, and also our electrical uh, vehicle and uh, hybrid type course as well uses, utilizes this lab space. One of our three classrooms that we have uh, set up with lifts in the classroom. So not only do we have obviously our tables and chairs and our projectors for our normal lecture portions, but we also have our uh, in, in, in classroom lift space so that we can do demos and students can work on vehicles right in the classroom. One of the things I'd always like to mention when we're looking at this space and you're seeing these classrooms like this is we, are, we do teach a little different than some schools in the fact that our students are typically in our automotive technical classes four hours a day, four days a week. So Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, they're either here from 8 to 12 or 1 to 5. So we've integrated the lecture and the lab portion of the course. So the instructors kind of have the ability to adjust how much lecture time versus how much lab time they need on a given day. But the students will typically spend about 60 to 70 percent of their time in the lab working on vehicles. This is mainly our diesel component lab, or our diesel engine lab. Um, we have seven engines on stands that are runnable. We have exhaust in the floor, so students can be working in here on engines or out on the trucks in the shop area. We also have a two-wheel chassis dyno that gets shared with the diesel class and the advanced fuel and emissions class for actually running vehicles and doing emissions testing and horsepower testing when they set faults and do things, they can check those things out. One of the things I usually mention when we're walking through the hallways is uh, a lot of questions usually come up about toolboxes. Students are required to have their own tools and we will send a packet of information if you're interested and we can show you um, some of the uh, tool companies like Snap-on and Mac and Fastenal, Granger have put together quotes. One of the things I often show is um, this is the Snap-on box that comes as an example and this is the Mac box that they have in their quote. But we really don't limit any of the toolboxes to what the students bring. If they want to bring a cart style or if they want to bring more of a typical bottom box style, that's their option. Um, our re main requirements are a toolbox that rolls and a toolbox that locks. Those are really only our only requirements. So whatever a student would like to bring down, um, we just really would prefer they don't bring down one of the super, super big boxes because that takes up a lot of wall space around here. So this is lab two. This is mainly used for our freshman electrical classes, our sophomore powertrains controls class, and then all of our advanced electrical courses. The advanced electrical courses are mainly everything uh, for our junior and senior level students that doesn't include engine or transmission. So airbags, power windows, power locks, theft systems, heated seats, um, anything like that that's inside the vehicle, audio systems, those are all talked about in the advanced electrical classes and that's what's utilized in this lab. One of the things to mention when you're looking and seeing all these vehicles in our labs, we do have approximately 120 vehicles in our fleet that we use for our courses. So our students are not working on their own personal vehicles to complete coursework. We do have a very good relationship with many manufacturers and other um, 
friends and partners of the program and they donate vehicles very often. So we ha try and stay on, on top of the technology as best we can. So this is part of our advanced electrical lab. And this is an area where um, we have different activities set up. If you're not working on vehicles out in the shop, you can be in here where we have you know, doors, for example, for power windows and power door locks. We have seats for seat mechanisms or heated seat functions, or we have other seat portions that in are included in airbag systems, uh, type of bench activities that can be going on in here. Again, we have to keep our students busy for uh, quite a bit of lab time every day. We've got to make sure we provide them with uh, a good learning experience that they can uh, take back a lot of different information and learn how all these systems work. And this lab is our third lab and this is mainly our brakes, steering and suspension, engines and transmissions and advanced drivability is what's taught in this one. So as the curriculum is set up for fall or spring semester, we kind of adjust and the instructors work together to utilize the space for those courses. So as you can see behind me, we have our alignment racks, um, the latest Hunter technology available, and then we have our balancers and all of the necessary equipment. So the tools that a student needs to bring are really just their standard hand tools. We supply all of the alternate or the specialty tools. And this classroom is another one of our classrooms with the lift and coming in here. The only reason i uh, maybe show you this one is this is also utilized for our manual drivetrains and drive axles course. So there are uh, various axles and transmissions, uh, manual transmissions disassembled in this lab frequently. And this is our engines lab. So this is where our freshman students will spend 10 weeks of their uh, either their, their fall or spring semester, uh, learning everything they can about the inside of an engine, how it operates, how variable valve timing works, how, um, how to measure, how to put an engine together properly. Uh, they're gonna spend that time in here. So they will be disassembling and reassembling and, and doing uh, hands-on uh, practical type experience for the engines class. Now coming into this room, this is our automatic transmissions lab and it's also used for our advanced diagnostics class. Um, in our transmissions class, a student will spend 10 weeks in transmissions course and they will do roughly six, maybe seven transmissions depending on the student's um, interest and what their uh, timing is. And then when they take possibly as a senior, you might take the uh, final advanced diagnostics course, which is kind of how the room is set up right now. And the instructor that teaches that course has got our students actually taking time to create videos and uh, web chats of their final project and live streams. So the cars are set in here so the students can do videos on their own and do their final projects. One of the other resources we have here at the Tech for the automotive program is our multi-purpose room. Currently we have the room divided in half, so this is just half of the size that we have available to us, but this is a room that the corporations use every fall semester. We typically get about 20 to 25 companies that come here and recruit directly from us. So they're coming down and they're giving an info session and talking about the job opportunities and how their company operates. And then typically they're staying for a day or two after and doing interviews with the students. Some of these interviews can even be for our freshman students where they're looking at internship opportunities working that following summer or working a six month internship where they might miss a semester here but they can do online courses or they can do other things to try and stay on track for graduating within the four years. Some students, they don't even want it, they don't mind taking that semester off for the internship and they might push their graduation a little bit, but the job opportunity and the internship opportunity is so great that they just make that decision and it's a personal choice at that time. In addition to all of our technical classroom space that we've kind of walked through, this is the, we do have a couple of classrooms that are strictly for our management courses. We do share this space with aviation. They do uh, some morning classes. We might have an afternoon class, that kind of thing. But this is some space for the management specific courses that we do teach, such as warranty, parts management, um, dealership financial strategies, those kind of things to go along with our automotive technical.
One of the other things we have here is a fully operational parts store. So if a student needs parts even for their own vehicle, they can come here and we work with Napa, O'Reilly's, and the local parts stores to get whatever they need. And they only pay a, a little portion over what we pay, so they're not paying the big markups at the local parts stores. Um, all of our students here will be required to wear a black work shirt. This is the minimum dress code at our, in our program. So while they're here in class, they'll be wearing this. They can always dress up if they'd like to buy a polo or if they wanna wear a collared shirt, that's acceptable. Any type of jeans or work pants are required in the labs and any type of closed toed shoes. They can wear boots or work uh, steel toe boots if they like, but it's not necessary. Um, we also have our selection of auto club uh, stickers, t-shirts and mugs and those kind of things can always be purchased here in the parts store. One of the things we haven't talked about yet is SIU Automotive Technology is the only automotive program in the country that is tied to a major research university. So what that means is we do research. And the best part about that is we get our students involved. So the faculty will be in charge of certain research projects and then every semester they work with students to be part of that research project. This is outside of class and this is for the students that want to do that extra. They want to be involved in something more than just the, their classroom time. So they could be involved in a research projects such as this where we're doing work on a camshaft design, looking at power and looking at fuel economy and seeing what that does. Some of the students that have worked on this project over the past year or two have also had an opportunity to go, work at, go talk at some conferences. So this is a great opportunity for students to work on their presentation skills, which is something we really push with their interviewing skills and everything else. So this is another way to add on to that learning experience. Here we have a four-wheel chassis dyno, so this gives us the opportunity to do fuel economy and power and test the vehicle like it was driving down the road without having to be on the road. This gives us a great research advantage. We also have one of our advantages being out here at the Tech is we have a computer lab just for our automotive students. So we do teach some very uh, Excel heavy courses because that's what our industry has come back and told us that our students going out and working is they need Excel. So we have designed classes that are very automotive specific Excel uh, at using information that we've received from the industry. Where we brought you now is actually an extra building next to our tech transportation education center that we call fleet storage. This is where we keep a lot of cars that we're not using in class right now and it's just general storage to try and keep our donations in as good a shape as we can. Where, what it also houses is our auto club space. So our auto club has a variety of different projects right now that have been donations from various people, such as our 71 MG. We've got a 59 Rambler that they've redone the engine in, uh, 54 Chevy, what we call the grain truck, uh, that's been donated. And that leads us then to our off-road team that's building a Cherokee trail rig, and they do have quite a bit of work to do yet, but they're just getting started. And then we have our 1994 Del Sol, which is our autocross car, so the students go autocrossing on the weekends. So where we brought you now is our auto club space. This is the room that the students come to, uh, typically on either a Tuesday or Wednesday night and have a work night. And they come out and they work on all the vehicles that we've just recently walked by, including our 1966 Nova, this is our drag car. But this space is solely dedicated to our auto club. So out here, um, the one thing I usually tell parents and I, I tell students is, this is not a room that's really funded by our department. So the students, if they, if they go out and they go racing on any of our vehicles and they break something, they better start fundraising or they better um, come up with uh, solutions to replace or repair the parts that they've broken in their racing habits. And then we go from there. All right, I'd just like to thank you for watching this video about the automotive technology program and the building that we get to come in and learn in every day. If you'd like to do a tour of the SIU campus or and see the housing and all of the things that campus has to offer as well as the automotive program, you can contact the number that's provided on the screen below. If you just want to come and see the automotive program, you can also contact our department anytime at the number below. Or you can always check out our website at automotive.siu.edu. Thanks for taking the time to view us today.